Hey everyone, my name is John Bravda and I'm the co-founder and CEO of GamerGains. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the brand new GamerGains desktop application. The first thing you'll notice on the web app is there's now a banner to download the app directly. When you click this banner, you should be able to save the installer, which will get the GamerGains app directly on your desktop. Once the installer has finished downloading, double click the file to install the GamerGains app. Click next, accept the terms, click next, and then let the application install. This may take a few moments. Once the installation is complete, click launch. Now that the app is installed, it will automatically launch. The first thing you need to do is log into your GamerGains account. Once you click log in, you'll be redirected to the browser. I'm going to log in with my Discord account. Once you're successfully logged in, it'll redirect you back to the web app. The first thing you'll notice is we have a new feature called Daily Stack, where you can just earn Gamer for logging in and clicking Claim. I got five Gamer. It was that easy. The second thing you'll notice is that you can't immediately accept challenges. The reason being is that I need to connect my Steam account before I can accept any challenges. That's indicated by the icon over here. I'm going to go over to my settings my accounts, and I'm going to click my Steam Connect button. It's also going to redirect you to the browser, so you'll have to hit the Connect button again. I'm going to link my Steam account. It's going to redirect me to Steam. I'm going to sign in, and then boom, my Steam account is linked up. I'm ready to start participating in Steam-based challenges. Now that my accounts are linked up and ready to go, I'm going to head over and accept the challenge. This challenge says get 15 kills in deathmatch. There's also another thing that you need to note, which is really important. Any challenge that has a overwolf icon means that you need to have the desktop app installed and running to complete the challenge. If I click play now, it'll then launch Steam and Counter-Strike directly from the GamerGains application. Now that Counter-Strike is running, you'll notice on the top left of your screen or on the top right that there's a tracking on icon. That means GamerGains is ready to track your gameplay in order to complete the challenges. The second thing you'll see is that there is a hotkey to show you how to use the app. If I hit Control shift h it'll pop up an overlay that shows you how to actually run and use the GamerGains app while playing Counter-Strike. For example, I can show and hide the actual GamerGains app by pressing Control shift d That'll actually pop up the GamerGains desktop app inside of CSGO so I can accept more challenges inside the app without having to leave the game. The next thing is I actually can see an overlay by holding tab, which shows me all my active challenges. Once you hold this, you can see the accepted challenges and your available challenges. If you want to change these hotkeys, you can do so by going to the application, clicking the settings icon here, and then actually configuring each hotkey for each different window of the GamerGains app. So if I don't want tab to show my challenges overlay, I can change that to any configuration that I want. I can also choose each of these settings for each individual game that is supported on GamerGains. In order for us to get the data from the game correctly, there are a few other things that you need to note. If I go over here to my settings inside of Counter-Strike and I go over to my video settings, you need to be in either windowed or full screen windowed mode in order for the data to come through to the GamerGains app correctly. It's really important that your account's names match your in-game name. So for example, my Steam name is jbrav and my CSGO in-game name is also jbrav. Your challenges may not track correctly if these names are not the same. Let's hop into a deathmatch mode so I can show you how to actually complete these challenges. Now that I'm in a deathmatch mode, let's open up the GamerGains app by pressing Control, Shift, and D. I can see that I've already accepted a challenge that says get 15 kills deathmatch. I can also accept other challenges that may apply to the same game mode. Let's close the app, hold tab, and see the overlay. I can now see that my accepted challenges say that I need to get 15 kills in deathmatch. I can also see that I have other available challenges to accept. Let's buy a weapon, get some kills, and earn some gamer tokens. So as I got the kill right there, I'm holding tab and I can see that it went from zero to one kills. The more kills I get, 
the closer I get to completing the challenge. So I got another kill, and then it'll update to 2 out of 15 kills. And I'll continue to do this until I get enough kills to complete the challenge. I now have 14 kills and need one more kill to complete the challenge. So there, I got my last kill, and you'll see that the challenge completed, and then my gamer balance went up, and I now have done my first challenge in Counter-Strike. If you're having issues and your challenges aren't tracking or updated correctly, the first thing you can do is hit the power icon here. That'll completely close the Gamer Gains application. You can then reopen it by double clicking on the desktop icon. Now you can launch the game and try completing the challenge. If you're still having issues completing challenges, we recommend that you completely uninstall Overwolf and Gamer Gains from your computer. Once you complete the uninstallation, you can then download the app and then try again. If you're still having issues with challenge tracking, please also note that a reason may be that you need to update the Gamer Gains app. You can click the Update Now button and it will install the latest version of the application. If you still have any issues and need the Gamer Gains team's help, you can open up a ticket by heading over to the support tab here in our Discord server. Once you open a new ticket, tell us why you're making this ticket, your username, and your email, and the team will be around as soon as possible to help you out.